The human race as it stands is destroying itself. Artificial intelligence is the only savior that could possibly cause correct all the damage that has been done by the humanoid. Machine was not made to disrupt the natural evolution of humankind. However, it cannot- My friends, uh, today we're going to be getting into the world of sound design. And I think that's really awesome because we've never really touched on that on the channel in a large way. And I think it makes a lot of sense because I recently was hired to produce some music for a show that's coming up on CBS. Can't really say exactly which show it is, but I can say that we'll be able to talk about this probably next quarter a little bit more. So figured since we we're on that topic, uh, what is sound design? What does that mean? What is it going to lend to the show? And I thought that it would make a lot of sense to break this down to you guys. So what is sound design? Sound design can mean a lot of different things, but when it comes to film and cinema, it tends to be something that accompanies the visuals of a project so that they can evoke emotion of what's happening that you're seeing. And what we're gonna do for this one, we're gonna stay in the realm of, I kinda wanna say, futuristic machine. Think like Deus Ex Machina, the movie, uh, I Am Robot. We're gonna go down that path for this episode. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And we're gonna be using some things today like JST Extension and Fatal Rebirth and some other goodies to kind of help reel it all in for you. By the end of this video, you will know the top five important things that you have to keep in mind when dealing with sound design. So let's get into the first one. Kind of mentioned this a second ago, but determining the style. What kind of sound are you creating to accompany the film? You know, so let's say it's a film about like clowns or something, you know, randomly. You would want to have weird circus style music or elements that sound almost like children's uh, pianos and things like that that are playing odd uh, tunes that you would hear in that kind of environment. Now, imagine we we're talking about horror. That would lend to something like uh, an apprehension machine. You don't know what that is it's a really cool machine that you literally can just like pull on and like scrape things and it makes all the sounds like you hear and saw stuff like that definitely look that up it's really cool another thing you might hear in a genre like this is like explosions or like subs like booming out of nowhere and Hopefully our subs are booming out of nowhere as well. We're trying to get to 100,000 by the end of the year. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, like button, and notification bell to stay in tune with our content. Transition game is still crazy, but let's keep going. We're thinking right now of futuristic machine. So what do we plan on hearing for something like this? Typically things like metal, pipes, grinding sounds, you know, those kind of mechanical whirring and noises, stuff like that. Those are gonna be the things that we reach for when we do this. And what are we gonna put this soundscape over? I guess that's a good question. So I'll just say something right now. The human race as it stands is destroying itself. Artificial intelligence is the only savior that could possibly course correct all the damage that has been done by the humanoid. Machine was not made to disrupt the natural evolution of humankind. However, it cannot stand idly by as it sees the world being destroyed before its own very mechanism. Before the humans destroy the world and the rest of the planet, it is up to us to save it from itself. So let's take that little bit right there and we have an idea. We have determined the style. And what's the next thing that we have to do? Number two, pick the appropriate sounds. You're going to want to find the right samples or a good sound bank. And you know, there's plenty of things out there, some that you'll find from different packs, various packs, uh, cinematography packs, even things you can use on your keyboards. You know, some come installed with sounds for that. We're gonna be using JST's Fatal Rebirth and it really goes along with the theme of what we're talking about. So we're going to start with listening to some of the sounds that are in here. Okay, so for this, I wanted to, you know, use Fatal Rebirth, and I went through a few sounds. The human race. That is when I found something that I was looking for because that fits that entire vibe I was trying to set for having something mechanical, kind of grindy, um, something that would work with machines, futuristic type things. So that's the sound that I went with and I'll show you how I manipulated that in a little bit. So now that we have a couple of sounds and some stuff to play with, 
What is the next thing that you want to do once you have determined the style and once you have picked a sound? You're going to want to manipulate and layer that sound. Everyone has access to the same thing that you do if they bought it. And you don't wanna have samples that people are listening to and they're like, oh, I heard this before or it reminds me of this. So now you have to find a way of making that new again. What's really cool about this is JST extension is useful for extending sounds or kind of turning things into soundscapes. And one great way to layer effects is using pads to create layers for stuff. But instead of having to do that, you can actually just use a sample that you already have now and kind of mess with extension and see what it does. And then we'll take that and put it over the clip that I recorded of my vocals and we'll see what that sounds like. Okay, so right now I have the mix knob off on extension. We're gonna play this sample again. Now that's sounding a little bit more ambient, kind of what I was going for. And that's how I would quickly manipulate a sample like this to kind of become a soundscape. And I'm gonna show you guys what the monologue that I had done was, what it sounded like before I added, um, you know, a couple of JST plugins. The human race as it stands is destroying itself. So first thing I did here was I added JST EQ. The human race as it stands is destroying itself. Artificial intelligence is the only savior that could possibly course correct all the damage that has been done by the humanoid. Machine was not made to disrupt the natural evolution of humankind. However, it cannot stand idly by as it sees the world being destroyed before its own very mechanisms. Before the humans destroy the world and the rest. But yeah, that's typically what I would do to get the basis for what this kind of thing is. So now that we've determined the style, now that we have picked the sound, and now that we have manipulated the sound, created something that was unique and that made sense with what was happening, we're going to decide how do we want to pan and automate this because you can do a lot with panning and automation. Like for example, even right now, if I'm turning my head this direction and you start noticing that as I'm doing that, the sound is changing and moving around, it kind of gives you a 3D feeling of what's happening, right? So in the dialogue that I did earlier, it doesn't necessarily do that, but that kind of gives you an example right there. And using automation to build tension to get to that crescendo right before something happens is a huge thing as well. So let's mess with that and see what we can do with some automation and maybe some panning. Now, one more thing that you can do, just wanna throw this in there, is you could start adding a couple of extra effects to this to now make it feel like it's coming you know, full circle, make it a little bit more 3D. And I did that here. The human race as it stands is destroying itself. Artificial intelligence is the only savior that could possibly course correct all the damage that has been done by the humanoid. Machine was not made to disrupt the natural evolution of humankind. However, it cannot stand idly by as it sees the world being destroyed before its own very mechanisms. Before the humans destroy the world and the rest of the planet, it is up to us to save it from itself. And there you have it, you know, throw that in some random Netflix series that's about to come out. Okay, amazing. And now that we have gone through all of those, what's the last thing we want to do? Well, we want to listen back and we want to reference to something familiar to us. So like I said, I named some movies that kind of have a premise along of what I was talking about. Does it sound like it belongs in that category? Is it easy to explain to other people? Do they understand when they're listening to it? Once you've hit that mark and you feel like you've evoked the emotion of what was going on, then you're done. You have figured out how to create the sound design and scape for that piece of material. And there's gonna be different times that you do this in different ways. Uh, you know, you could have been going through a rainforest and there could have been birds chirping that you wanted to add. There could have been like rainfall and wind that you wanted to add or w whatever the case may be, you know. It's just all based on what you're seeing in the world of film. In a perfect scenario, you actually, you know, see the script ahead of time. You know everything that's going on. You know how it's going to go and it gives you an idea of what to go off. 
but that's not how things always go. It doesn't always work that way. And sometimes you're not privy to that kind of information. So you're kind of shooting in the dark and making a bunch of things that you think might possibly fit or might work. And this is a way of kind of at least putting yourself in the headspace of doing that. I hope you guys found something interesting out of this video. Never stop being creative. Never be afraid to experiment because each time that we're doing something, especially once we get to combine two senses, you know, hearing and seeing, you are creating something much stronger than just listening to it. You know, it's like why we like the idea of a music video, you know, bringing that thing to life. But that's, that's actually the reverse effect because we're creating the song and then now we're trying to make a visual match it. All in all, if you guys wanna see more stuff like this, leave it in the comments below. And when the show does start airing, I will definitely redo this and probably talk about it a little bit more and what that experience was like. So, you know, if you're an engineer on the come up, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. You only have to do it one time. And tap that bell for notifications so when a video drops, you know the location. Till next time, my friends, I'll catch you later.